these eight personnel have been languishing in Qatari jails for the last several months. It is that place where Al Qaeda and Taliban were contacted by few more nations. These eight officers were training the Qatari armed forces. However, they have been charged with spying for Israel. It comes to one's mind how these people were caught. It is believed that they passed on this information to Israel. Court of Qatar has given death penalty to eight Indian naval veterans, seven of whom have commanded various warships, etc. Only one of them is a sailor. These eight personnel have been languishing in Qatari jails for the last several months. All this notwithstanding, the government of India is reaching out very strongly to the Qatar's courts as well as the administration to ensure that the death penalty is not carried through. We are providing all legal aid to them. The MEA has also decided to provide, ask for increased consular access to them. Qatar's courts are not that transparent as Indian courts. This op opaqueness. That notwithstanding, these eight officers were training the Qatari armed forces. However, they have been charged with spying for Israel. It is told that they were trying to manufacture a stealth submarine with innovative technologies and it is believed that they passed on this information to Israel. I am very certain there is no truth in it and I am, I, the government of India will go, go flat out to ensure their safe return. They are also in touch with their families of the concerned personnel. This news has come only now recently. Unless one knows the details, it would be wrong for anything to comment on that line. But as a student of international affairs, one has to think what is the reputation of that nation where this incident has taken place. As a student of military science and particularly counter-terrorism, terrorism, I think, it is that place where Al-Qaeda and Taliban were contacted by few more nations. So there are some links. It is that place where the anti-India activities are conducted. It may not be a whole nation, but a good number of them are working from there. And if that be so, then it comes to one's mind how these people were caught and why were they caught and what is their fault, what is their crime, what they have done. Nobody knows even till this news came into being. So this will require a study. This will also require international affairs. Ministry of Defense, maybe Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs, they'll have to work out, negotiate with them, get these people back. After all, whether they are in service or not, they are Indians. Yes, sir. They are our own people. Mm -hmm. They are their own families. They are their own children. Mm -hmm. So, and it's a, it's a reasonably large number of people. It's not one or two people. Yes. Okay. So, therefore, I am sure, I am sure, our government will take some measures take some decisions to get these people back. This is the news that the eight Navy officers in Qatar have been given the death penalty in Qatar. These eight officers were working with Qatar with the company of Qatar and they were working with the Navy to train them. And the government has permission to take care of the government. And the government has permission to take care of the government. But the government has permission to take care of the government. But the government has permission to take care of the government. But the government has permission to take care of the government. There is no news. परिवार वालों को खबर नहीं मिलती कहाँ रखा गया क्या रखा गया उनको कोई वकील की मदद नहीं दी जाती बहुत मुश्किल थे फिर भारत की जो एक्सटर्नल अफेयर मिनिस्ट्री है उन्होंने बातचीत करके फिर काउंसलर मदद दिलवाई लेकिन अभी जो इनको डेथ सेंटेंस दिया गया इसके पीछे दो तीन कारण हो सकते हैं जिसका भी खुलासा किसी ने किया नहीं है एक ही हो सकता है क्या उनके संबंध के इसराइल की किसी कंपनी के साथ थे या क्या उनका संबंध किसी और देश के साथ थे या फिर 
मुझे ये भी लगता है कि जिस प्रकार से कतार आतंकवादी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को मदद कर रहा है और भारत के साथ अभी इतने अच्छे रिलेशन नहीं है वो भी भारत में जो आतंकवादी और अलगाववादी संगठन को मदद देता है पैसे की मदद भी देने की कोशिश करता है तो ये भी कारण हो सकता है कि वो एक तरह से प्रेशर डाल रहे हो भारत के सरकार पर ताकि वो कहीं ना कहीं एक इस तरह के डिप्लोमेसी में इस तरह गेम होता है कि उन्होंने पकड़ लिया हमारे डेथ सेंटेंस दे दिया फिर भारत की सरकार को प्रेशर डाल के अपनी कुछ बातचीत मनवाने के लिए मजबूर करें कदर के साथ हमारा व्यापारी जो संबंध है बहुत ही अच्छा तो कदर का कदर का जो ये स्टेप उठाया उसने आठ जो कह सकते हैं ऑफिस के अगेंस्ट इससे उस संबंध पे क्या असर पड़ेगा और क्या ये कह सकते हैं कहीं ना कहीं जो हमास के अगेंस्ट में इंडियन गवर्नमेंट थी उसको लेकर उसके बाद ये स्टेप उठाया गया ऐसा कुछ देखा जाए तो कतर के साथ भारत के अच्छे संबंध हैं लेकिन बीच बीच में कई बार देखा गया जो कई बार कतर जो है हमारे अलगाव वाई वादी संग संगठनों को भी मदद देने की कोशिश करता है भारत भी कई बार इस चीज़ के बारे में बातचीत उठाई है हालांकि देखा जाए जो भारत के इस समय में मध्य पूर्व के मिडिल ईस्ट के जो देशों के साथ बहुत ही अच्छे संबंध हैं चाहे यू है सऊदी अरेबिया है ईरान के साथ भी इराक के साथ भी भारत ने हर एक के साथ अच्छे संबंध रखे हुए लेकिन ये जो बातें काफ़ी दुखद हैं और मैं मैं ये चाहता हूँ कि उनको न्याय मिले सबसे बड़ी बात जो मेरा यह है कि उनको सही न्याय मिला जाए पूरी जो बात जांच के पड़ताल के साथ परिवार को बताया जाए कि क्या कारण है क्या है क्या है भारत की सरकार को बताया जाए और भारत की विदेश मंत्रालय पूरी तौर से इसके ऊपर काम कर रहे हैं कि इसको जल्दी से जल्दी निपटाया जाए और एक पॉजिटिव रेस्पॉन्स लिया जाए